I'm sitting here waiting, trying to uh, get loaded. Somebody's in my door. Uh, somebody waiting on the guy right there in the red truck. Door number three. I'm sitting here, I'm gonna go ahead and fix my uh, rocker switch for my LED light bar. It already works and everything, but I just want to update it a little bit. I'll show you what I'm talking about. My rocker switch, my LED switch. It works just fine. The only thing is this light that lights up blue. When I'm driving and turning the wheel, then that light shines bright. So basically I got a solution, which is another rocker switch. This one matches better with my interior. First thing I want to do is take out the key and put my hand right here, my fingernails and hand. If I can get a grip on something, there we go. And just pull it out just a little bit. Okay, just pull it out enough. See if I can set you up here. Right. So the wires don't go back inside. So I took out the wires here. Now I'm gonna have to uh, drill this hole a little bit bigger to uh, fit this here. So that's what I'm gonna do next. And I got my tool bag already ready. But they're making a mess. It's uh, wet and been raining, so format is wet. I have this uh, step up bit. I also used it for my uh, chicken lights video. But uh, it's uh, pretty tight so I'm going to try to push it in there and see what happens. When I was making a uh, video installing this. The truck finally pulled out of our door so in the door now let's uh get back to our project the wires fell back in here so i'm gonna have to uh push them up from here by hand i have a fuse panel that a small fuse panel that's never been there that's missing but let's pull back on this and then it comes out just have a couple little clips there there's our wires the green one is here grounded the yellow one is go inside the firewall and behind the engine to the relay so this is going to be our load wire the green one is going to be the ground and the brown is going to be our hot so let's see if we can't fish those wires out don't know if you guys can see this or not but Let's try to see what we can do. Should have made these uh, wires a little, little longer also. But uh, now let's put our panel back up here. First, let me read the back of this. Power is at the bottom and load is in the middle. 
a lot of power wire. Is the brown. Our power wire is the brown. That's gonna go here. Okay. Come on. All right. Our load wire, which is the relay, is gonna go in the middle. Which is the yellow. Okay. And then the ground is green. Make sure they're they're on there pretty good. Okay. Now that I got where are you? now that I got the wires on there. Push it as far as I could, that's as far as it would go. Now, let's put this steering wheel down. Set you up again. Okay, frame goes on the side. that we're back at it now the last test is let me uh, put a key on there and it's on make sure our light is on which it should be if it's process and I think that light would be a lot better as far as seeing at night time also too it matches my interior better the hole is not as not as straight as I would have liked I didn't really pay attention to that I have a little bit more less gap from here a little bit more gap from there but it is what it is but yeah it matches with all my buttons and interior so hopefully that little LED light wouldn't bother me as much as this big bright blue light so I'll keep this one as a backup I guess another thing I like that I noticed too with uh, this button versus this one I didn't know when I uh, first got this one but now I know you push it in there and when you push it in there you see these threads basically you have a plastic washer and uh, you put on there and tighten it up with the hose it on the dash but my problem is once I tightened it tight it would get unloosened again like it wouldn't catch the threads so I would still be able to move the button around it was like kind of loose so eventually it would just went sliding everywhere so I like this one better it stays with the tabs so we'll see how that one lasts, but mainly I got this one because of the light. So we'll see how it goes. Just as I was uh, putting up my tool bag and uh, my extra button in my tub wear there, you got the red light. Also, I uh, post the video at the end. I'll go ahead and edit it. And uh, it's dirty now, it's been raining, but I got my trailer washed. The first time it's been washed since I had it, I got it, I think in uh, probably mid to end April. And it's a 2014 dry van, uh, Vanguard is the name brand trailer. And my truck is a 2017 Kenworth T680 with the uh, Cummins ISX. And it is the automatic.
ठीक